Boom! Let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. So, anyways, uh, what do we got for you tonight? We got Old Dominic. So, this is uh, Old Dominic, uh, family owned, Memphis, Tennessee, straight Tennessee whiskey. This is 85 proof, um, non chill filtered, heavy char number four. Aged in West Tennessee white oak barrels, mash bill 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. So, let you take a look at that. That's the regular old Dominic 85 proof. Uh, storied past, spirited future, made in Memphis at the old Dominic distillery in the heart of downtown, around the corner, and 150 years down the road from where our family story started well i'll be honest with you i don't know much about their family story um bat size six barrels barrel entry proof 110 aged four years minimum i just oh it's sunned this is these are not my bottles neither one of these these are on loan from buddy my mark uh who loaned these to ask me if I'd do a review on them because I never have bought anything from Old Dominic. Nothing that I'd ever seen from them really excited me or thought a whole lot about it. I don't know much about their story, but anyways. Um, and then we're gonna go with this is, uh, this is a Bottled and Bond Fall 2017 Batch 3 Distilled uh, Fall 2017 Aged 5 Years Obviously 100 Proof uh, I think it's the same mash barrel 75% corn yaw, 13% rye and 12% malted barley Same little story on the back and But this is their bottled and bond version So Well so I've never had these Never owned these and But we're going to do Fresh pour. We won't pour. I, I won't pour these into the infinity bottle because they're not mine. There's that, and then the bottled and bond. But thanks, Mark, for bringing these bottles to me, allowing me to do a review. Let's see. And this, some these might change my mind. Like I said, nothing that ever appealed to me about buying anything from Old Dominic. So. The nose does come off young on this. Like, got some ragged edges. Definitely some fruitiness in there. Cherry, orange, vanilla. But, awful young on the nose. Not very well balanced. Ragged edges. Doesn't excite me on the nose at all. Alright, cheers, Bourbon Clusk. Definitely get some of that maltiness there. Um, yeah, not much proof, viscosity. Not very exciting. Easy sipper. It's not bad. Man, it's awful young on the nose. Cheers. The palate's not that bad, very sweet, very fruity. Yeah, cherry, orange, vanilla, caramel, some maltiness in there. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not very exciting. Uh, and he wrote down here on what he paid on these. This one he paid $38 for. I mean, I can think of a, a lot more interesting bottles uh, for under 40 bucks than, than this. I mean, for me, it's a pass. Um, I mean, I don't think it's horrible. I mean, if you like fruitiness and whatever, I don't think it's a, a horrible buy. Not something that I personally would buy. Let's go to the bottom of the bond and see 
we get much difference on this. It's gonna be the same mash bill, so. Yeah, the nose is strikingly similar. Similar. We get a lot of the same notes. I, I don't distinguish much difference on the nose. Maybe a little bit more proof of with it being a bottled and bond on the nose, but yeah. But other than that, all right. Let's see if the higher proof does it justice. No, I get the same flavor profile. I mean, a tad more proof, but not the, it doesn't drink 15 proof higher. Um, definitely that fruitiness still tastes young. Not as ragged on the edges as the previous one, probably with the higher proof, but it's also a lot more expensive, so. He wrote down what he paid on this one. Yeah, $84. That's a hard pass. I mean, is it slightly better than the other one? Yeah, is it whatever? Uh, what, 38 40, I mean, $45 more? No. I mean, there's a ton. I mean, $84 bottled and bottled. I mean, I can get a a Colonel Lee H. Taylor for under 50 when you can find them. Um, yeah, Chattanooga bottled and bonds better. Evan Williams bottled and bond. Even uh, George Dickel bottled and bond, I would say, is better at a cheaper price. That's a definitely a hard pass, especially on that price. Um, I could see maybe justifying this one if it's your flavor, uh, flavor profile, but. This is a hard pass for sure, this bottled and bond, so. Well, there you go. You got my review. I'm not a fan of O'Dominic. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because this, well, I'm not now because this is my first time ever having anything from O'Dominic. Was not impressed. Glad that I didn't spend my money on these. Sorry, Mark, that you did, but thanks for sharing. Glad I could do a review on these. Hey, if you agree, disagree, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, you know, you might like these. Uh, I just think, especially that bottle of bond. I, I don't. Even if you did, I, I can't justify eighty-four dollars for a bottle of bond. With yeah, unless I mean, hell, get an old Fitzgerald nine-year for ninety bucks would you know, be better than that. Um, so. All right, that's enough about that. Uh, not a fan of old Dominic. Won't buy it. Um, glad I got to try it to find out for myself. Um, and I'm glad I kept those dollars in my pocket. Let me know what you think. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. Um, we're trying to get to 700. We're getting close. And we'll talk more after that. But um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Didn't do yourself a favor. Ring that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest. Uh, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Because I'm done with old Dominic. And remember, as always, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a wrap. That's a pass, old Dominic. Later, bro.